Hi students, today we will be dealing with figure-based questions from menstruation. Now, you have a figure given to you. Let me read the question. A solid consists of a metal cube with a hemisphere cut out of it. The length of a side of the cube is 7 cm. The diameter of the hemisphere is 5 cm. Calculate the volume of the solid. And they have a formula given to you there. To start with this question, the first thing that you should look for is the shapes involved in the problem. You have a cube and a hemisphere. The second thing is to look for the data given and the units. You have the side of the cube which is 7 cm and the diameter of the hemisphere which is 5 cm. Now both the units are in cm. So now let's take note of this data. The side of the cube is equal to 7 cm and the radius is what we need as we are not dealing with the diameter in the formula. You can see that you have a radius r being discussed. So the radius of the hemisphere will be 5 divided by 2 which is 2.5 centimeters. Now the next thing is what is to be found? We have to find the volume of the solid. So we have to be sure we are dealing with the volume and the next thing is that the formula. Now we have the shapes we are going to find the volume so we have to know that the volume of a cube is a cube or the sides getting cubed. Now the volume of a hemisphere we know they have clearly given it to us. They have given the volume of a sphere which is a complete sphere. This is the volume of a complete sphere. We just need half of it because we are dealing only with a hemisphere. So a half is what we need. So dividing this by 2, you can make the formula as 2 over 3 pi r cube. Now those who are not comfortable with doing this formula, you can just find the volume of a complete sphere and then you just divide it by 2. Now let's begin with solving. You are asked to find the volume of the solid and they have said the metal cube consists of a hemisphere cut out of it. Out means you're cutting out means you're reducing or you're removing. Produce, remove and all these kind of concepts shows a decrease. So we are going to minus. So the volume of the solid is going to be the volume of the cube which is the larger figure that you have from which you reduce, you remove, or you cut the volume of the hemisphere. So this is the expression, this is the equation that you are going to solve. So you have a cube minus volume of a hemisphere 2 by 3 pi r cube. Substituting the values you have 7 to the power 3 minus make sure you are using appropriate brackets while using your calculator 2.5 your answer is going to be 310.2750765 in your calculator. So your final answer rounding to the required accuracy, it becomes 310 centimeter cube. So this is your final answer. Moving on to the next question. Let me read the question for you. A container is made from a cylinder and a cone. Each of radius 5 cm, the height of the cylinder is 12 cm and the height of the cone is 4.8 cm. The cylinder is filled completely with water. The container is turned upside down as shown below. Calculate the depth D of the water, uh, the volume of the cone uh, with radius R and height H is given to you. Here you have a cone and a cylinder involved. Okay, Let me write it. You have a cone, you have a cylinder. Next question. Look at the units. Are they all the same? Yes, they are all in centimeters and they have given 
the radius of the cylinder the radius of the cylinder which is also equal to the radius of the cone radius of the cylinder slash cone can be taken as r equals 5 cm now the height of the cylinder is equal to 12 centimeters and the height of the cone is equal to 4.8 centimeters now what is the question calculate the depth d of the water so they are asking you to find the depth here which is d centimeters now from the figure it's very clear that the total height of this container is going to be 4.8 plus 12 centimeter which is 16.8 centimeter the total height of this container the total height of this container now we are asked to find the depth d d is what you have to find and the formula since we are dealing with depth for sure it's the volume that we are talking about so we should know the volume of a cylinder and the volume of a cone now the volume of the cone is directly given to you one third of the volume of a cylinder which is 1 by 3 pi r square h, and the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h we can see that it's a cylinder that's completely filled with water and the top part which is a cone is getting filled with the air okay the space occupied by the cone is the air the moment you turn the container upside down the same air is getting filled into the cylindrical region now we can say that the space the space occupied by the air inside the cone is the same as the volume of the cylinder because when you turn it upside down the air here is shifting towards this region so this volume is equal to the volume of the cylinder equation that we can make is the volume of the cone is equal to the volume of the cylinder which is filled by air we are talking about the yellow shaded region so one third pi r square h is equal to the volume of the cylinder pi r squared h substituting the values you have one third times pi multiplied by the radius of the cylinder and the cone they are equal which is equal to 5 centimeter 5 square times the height of the cone is 4.8 is equal to pi times r square again it's the same radius that we are talking about 5 square times the height of the cylinder is what you have to find here which is unknown we are not aware of the height of the cylinder so let us take it as h so I put the value h here cancelling the similar terms from both the sides I have I have 4.8 divided by 3 as the height h therefore h is equal to 1.6 centimeters so i have found the value for this height which is 1.6 centimeters and i know that the total height of my container this is the total height of my container is 16.8 so i'm sure you got the answer by now the value for D will be 
the total height this is the total height that I have 16.8 minus this h which is 1.6 so my d is equal to 16.8 minus 1.6 giving me the answer as 15.2 centimeters I hope the steps are clear so d equals 15.2 centimeter is my final answer Thank you.